guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And yes, we are again back at St. Croix Lake, Michigan. And we're going to be going after something that I just recently discovered on how to catch. Uh, that would be the Atlantic Salmon. I have not seen any videos on this, especially for this particular location, and that's the fairy tale Dock. Uh, the primary thing I'm going to be using for this is I'm going to be using my jig winner 8 foot by 10 inch. Uh, as far as the reel, I'm using a Hornet Swarm 6000, but that's not totally necessary. And of course, I'm going to be using, well, that's the wrong spoon. I always get the one and one half and the one half mixed up. Yeah, I'm going to be using the one half ounce spoon. And floral point zero one one line and as far as as far as line goes that's probably about as strong as you need anything heavier you're not going to be able to get it cast out far enough and that is the issue here guys you have to get some distance with your cast and the jig winner will give you that and as far as the reel you can you can go with a lighter reel as well. Uh, I just like the Hornet Swarm because it seems like I can ju get just a little bit more distance and I can get it reeled in a little bit faster. Alright, let's go ahead and get this started. Now when you get out here on the... Oh shoot, I got the wrong rod. Sorry about that. Let me switch around here. There we go. Okay, good. Now, where you're going to be casting, as you can see, I'm going to be able to cast way beyond this buoy. And it seems like I have the most luck on the left side of the buoy. That seemed to be also true for the walleye earlier, but... you got to let it go all the way to the bottom. And for this, you want to do a stop and go. And basically, let it reel it in a little bit. Let it fall. Reel it a little bit, let it fall. Now we're going to be fishing, as you can see, we're at, at 6 p.m. And the prime times for these guys are between 6 and 7. Oh, there we go. It's between 6 and 7 p.m. in the evening on sunny days, and between 5 and 6 a.m. in the mornings. Now, right now, of course, we've got afternoon, and this guy is going to give me a fight. They do fight. And since you've got the jig winner, you're going to have a fight on your hands, especially with this light line. But these are kind of... For some reason, it seems like I cannot catch them on the heavier line because I can't get that distance I need. It has to get out past 200 feet. That's all there is to it. It just won't work any other way. And so far, this is the only lure that I've caught them on. I'm not saying you won't catch them on something else, but this is what I've caught them on. Oh boy, I got a little tension issue there going on. Yeah, you will have a fight, so this is a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> and you can always tell you've got one of these guys, because when, when you've got one, you will sit there and spend a, a bit of time trying to get them in. But like I said, the window is very short. Only 6 to 7 in the evening, and only 5 to 6 in the morning. And it doesn't seem to change whether it's cloudy or sunny for the most part. I haven't really seen any difference on the rainy days, but... I might have to test that one out. The rainy days are, you know, they just kind of come when they come, so... On this particular map... It's like you'll go in there and be saying it's sunny and it's raining, or cloudy and it's raining. Luck of the draw. Alright, we've almost got him in. Now you got to remember to keep that tension up because they can get off the hook real easy. And once he gets in about 30, I'm going to lift it way up just like Doola showed me on this particular type of style, and then we're going to keep that tension on him and bring him in excuse me there come on that got it you you're gonna give me a you're gonna give me a little trouble her aren't you there we go there you go 
Atlantic Salmon, 7.814 pounds. He's not huge, but look at the XP, guys. Plus 124. These guys are a lot of XP if you can get them. And they're not exactly easy to catch here, I will say that. Not only does it take a while to get them in, but as I said, those windows of opportunity are pretty small. Alright, we're going to see if we can get more luck here. See what happens. Again, make sure you let it get all the way to the bottom. That's, that's true both for these guys and for the walleye. And once it hits bottom, you want to do a stop and go. Now, I don't know if you noticed over there on the right that I've only got it one notch. And I got the tension pretty low. You can always bump it up. But my line's getting a little worn, so I kind of want to take it a little bit easy. Darn durability issue. I'm not real happy with that. Not happy with the durability issues. Well, I'm not so sure I'm going to get one in the... Well, Make a liar out of me. Usually it's out about 200 feet. Uh, wait a minute, guys. I uh, don't think this is a salmon. <laughs> no, this isn't a salmon. It's too easy. Way too easy. I think we got us a smallmouth here. Yeah, we got us a smallmouth. Little bugger. I thought it was in a little bit too close. You just couldn't resist, could you? <laughs> God bless those things are ravenous. Alright. Okay guys, what I did is I decided to go ahead and switch over to early, early morning so that you can see the window here of opportunity. It's just after 5 a.m. and really you can pretty much catch them anywhere out past 200 feet here as well but again I'm gonna go to the same spot I did when I was fishing in the evening. Wait to the left of this buoy. As far out as I can get. Nice. Sometimes I can get as far as 240 feet. A 235 is good. 235 is good. And there it goes. It's at the bottom. And we'll go ahead and get the stop and go motion going, but let me adjust this thing. Apparently I don't have it set right. Now you don't want to do it too slow, but you want to, don't want to do it too fast either. The trick is you want to be able to see it turn blue in those um, where it hits your line and possibly your rod. Because these guys, they don't come up and they don't hit it real hard. They, they have it. See, there's something right there. Nope. Something was there around 200 feet. And I guess he gave up. Yeah, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll I'll jerk it and then kind of give it a bounce. All right, we cast it out again here. We're going to give this another shot. See if that fish is still out there. Yeah, he's still there. Come on. Ugh. He's going to be finicky, isn't he? That just figures. Going to be finicky. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get him. Alright, I'm determined to get this son of gun. <laughs> I'm determined to get him. He is 
He is just slick willy or something. I don't know what his deal is. He is a slick fish. He is getting past this every time. See, you little son of a gun. Well, he is definitely giving me some issues here. Finally! Okay, I got him this time. And it is a salmon, I can tell you that. I knew it was a salmon. But you see how tricky they are? They are not easy to... Some, I mean, hooking them sometimes is pretty tough. And he's going to give me a fight, too. Jeez. Yeah, he's a lot bigger than what I caught that last evening. That one was only about seven and a half pounds or something like that. This one's a lot bigger. <laughs> now I've not seen any trophies here, got here guys. I know you can get trophies in Alberta, but I haven't seen any here. I'm not saying they don't exist, but if they do, they're rare. I've only caught regular size ones, but the way this one's fighting me, it could be my personal best. God. Wow. Man, I definitely got a fight on my hands here. Come on in here. Now. almost like fighting a gar. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. I better, better reel this sucker fast because I cannot let him lose tension. At least he's in a little bit further. Still out a good 120 feet, but he is coming in. He's getting tired. He's starting to tire out finally. Come on. Okay, we're under 70. Oh boy, he's taking another run for it. Daggone it. Mm. If he isn't a trophy, he better be substantial. That's all I can say. If I just fought a seven pounder this long, I'm going to be <laughs> a little aggravated. Alright, come on. Alright, we're down to 40. Get up in the air here. Come on. We're going to get him in. Come on. Up in the air. 18. 15. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's a lot. Oh, 10.417. Yeah, he is bigger. Plus 166. That might actually be my personal best for this leg. I'll have to take a look. But, yeah, he's pretty. He is pretty. Right, there they are guys Atlantic salmon they are here and they are fun to catch I hope you enjoyed that guys and please be sure to share comment like and subscribe and please check out my new patreon page if you ever get a chance I just started one don't know much about it but I'm it's out there so until next time I will see you later bye bye